Hello, the kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we had uh, done a little bit of grinding, a little bit of uh, building up the old house, grinding as in, you know, smithing with gold and whatnot. And uh, now I'm thinking I'm going to do it with dwarven iron because I have a fuck ton of it. <laughs> and uh, I think I have. Not that many dwarven bolts, actually. I could build a lot more of those. Well, I mean, I have a significant amount, but I could build a lot more of those, to be perfectly honest. I could build a lot more. But, uh, first things first, I'm starting to think I should make a better suit of armor for, uh, well, for most of my people. <laughs> and uh, I could do dwarven iron really easily. Well, not dwarven iron, dwarven, uh, metal. That's the word I'm looking for, I guess. Anyway, probably need to find where am I? At? Oh yeah, there's Lydia. Hey Lydia. Long life to you, Thane. Long life to me, I guess. Uh, follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Sounds good. And uh, I'm gonna try and get some of the dwarven metal stuff made. But first, I need iron, which I think I have stored in here. Maybe, yeah, I do have some iron ingots stored in here. Great. Cool beans. I uh, think eight ought to be enough. Or at least for now. Oh. Lydia, you're kind of in the way. Lydia. Lydia, there we go. I'm just about to beat you. What do you need? Uh, nothing right now, Ray. Give me just a moment, though. I might decide otherwise. Well, let's get some dwarven armor made. There we go. Uh, oh, I needed steel ingots for it, too. Didn't realize. Well, I might need to get more of those soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need a steel ingot for that, too. Okay, dwarven boots. And gauntlets and helmet are now out of my reach. Okay. Hopefully I have some steel in here, too. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. I could have sworn I had enough. But I didn't realize I needed steel as well. That's my fault. I'll grab those. There we go. All of that should be good enough. Hey, Lydia, you're out of the way this time. I am your sword and your shield. Nice to hear, Ray. I don't need to hear right now, though. Okay, dwarven. And back down to gauntlets. Oh, I was out of leather strips. That's what the problem was. I'm dumb. I am the dumb. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Got some wolf pelts, that'll work. And some leather strips. There we go, that works just fine. Alright. Let's get this going. Finally. <laughs> Alright, and gauntlets and helmet. There we go, we're good on that. Uh, do need a shield, maybe? Yeah, I, I think she needs a shield. And a sword, obviously. And we'll get all of that built up to as far as it'll go. Okay, I'm a little slow. I'm a little fat weight. Uh, but, uh, it, it, but it, okay. There we go. Get that up to legendary. And I can't enchant this. Why? Oh, I don't have any ebony ingots. That's the problem. Okay. I need to get that soon, then. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really need to, considering I'm just selling with it. Okay, we're good on these. And, uh, build these up. There we go. There we go. And there we go. I mean, I'm not entirely sure she's going to even wear these. I'm right behind you. But, uh, you know, or at least keep them on. I am sworn to carry your burdens. That you are, but believe me, you're not going to carry them, you know, for no reason. That's the word I was going to use. <laughs> there we go. Give you that. And give you all of that. There we go. You're starting to equip it now, which is good. There we go. And I can't get the old armor off you. Fuck. I can get the sword off of you. I can take that. So you at least have this on forever. Okay. There we go. Lead on. Lead on. Okay. Well, I don't really need to lead on, considering 
I do like the fact that the dwarven armor does not do that weird thing the steel plate does around the uh, chestal region. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, the issue that I have with the steel plate armor because of that weird boob cross section that leaves, you know, the weakest point right in the chest. But yeah, that that's, you know, nitpicky, neither here nor there. Uh, let's actually get you out Still of my here. service for now. Time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. Well, considering you're still home, it's not really that long a walk. Now let's see if we can get the armor off of her, maybe. I can get these off easy, but the actual armor is a little hard. Eesh. I can maybe do the shield. Maybe. Uh, nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hope that the game logic decides this is the best armor, so keeps it on her. I'm hoping. If it doesn't, then fuck me. <laughs> because that's just a continual problem I run into. Alright, let's get the rest of the dwarven metal ingots. Uh, where are all they? There they are. Dwarven metal. Give me a moment. All right, I'm back. That took a solid three fucking minutes to sort through. Yeesh. That's the last time I'd make that mistake, I say, and then we'll do again later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and uh, get the stuff that I meant to actually do done, uh, which should take a while. A lot of the first part, sell off the crap I don't already need. That's the main thing I need to do. And a dwarven metal is not one of those things, but a lot of the stuff I'm going to make with it is. Along with the fact I have a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I got a level up because I was enchanting a lot with the, you know, the gold jewelry that I made. I got a lot of it done, 
And, uh, as you can tell, and got to level up because of it. So, let's see if we can put the point into something useful. Uh, let's do health for now. There we go. And I think I'm going to save this point for when I get smithing up to full, you know, the full point I want it to be. But, uh, I just want to look, see what else I can get. Yeah, it should be fine. With everything else. Yep. Yep. I'm good. I'm good. Alright. Now. I think I still needed to smelt a few things. I think I had some... Yeah, some Quicksilver ore. Got some Ebony ore that I needed to smelt. Oh, and some iron. I forgot about that, too. There we go. And get all of this done. Real quick. Just really quickly. There we go. And store all these outside here. And do I have any? No, I do not have any ore stored out here. But I might as well drop this stuff down here. Uh, iron. There we go. Store all of that. There we go. Perfect. Alright, well. Where's that done? <laughs> and now I need to grab a woodcutter's axe and start chopping wood. That is always the, uh... I need to do around here. Usually. Alright. How much wood do I have? Now that I think about it. 81. Okay. And it shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to sit here and do this and try and talk because, you know, I don't really do a lot of that. <laughs> well, I'd say that. <laughs> that I'm doing an LP series. That's on part 37 now, I think? 137? I think so. Anyway. Oh, uh, man. This game. Really fun. A lot of bugs. <laughs> I swear. But, as uh, it's been said before, is it a bug or a feature? Yes. That is usually the response. Uh, I mean, that's about the same for Fallout 4 now. Considering they're built on the same engine... So, I mean, it's not that hard to believe that it's just the engine itself that's a little, uh, quirky, that's the word I want to use. But then again, Bethesda titles are known in general to be a little quirky. And I know that Fallout 3 and New Vegas was built on an entirely different engine. I don't quite remember the name of it off the top of my head, but the engine itself is, uh, you know, just as quirky, if not more so, than the engine Fallout 4 and Skyrim is built on. So, it might be just a case of coding is a little hard, so weird things happen. But at the same time, it could be just a case of, you know, quirks in the engine. I don't claim to know. I don't understand it as much as I should. <laughs> but, you know, it's a whole thing. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. Just gonna keep chopping firewood and uh, blather on while I do that because I've already cut a lot out of this episode and I don't want to cut anymore. Uh, there we go. And I think that's good. Or at least good enough. Uh, do I have Wind Sprint? I should. Uh, Whirlwind Sprint. Yes, there we are. And... Boom! Ah, it only got me part of the way. Better than nothing. And I should be able to make some bolts right here. There we go, perfect. I could make Dwarven Arrows. But there's no point. Because I have a crossbow. And the crossbow is usually better. Okay. That's great. All of these that I can with all the firewood that I have. There we go. Got it up to 96. And I might be able to get it halfway to 97. Before I have to get more firewood. Yep. Exactly halfway. Man, I'm good. Okay. 
how many of those am I carrying now, actually? Probably a lot. Oh, I need a day for a heart for each of those? Really? Oh god, that's really labor intensive. For Daedric arrows. Good lord. Hell, if you're gonna do Daedric arrows as your like main go-to, you might as well just get the Ranger perk as well, so you don't have to worry about losing as many when you're firing them. God damn. I mean ebony at this point is better for your you know better bang for your buck. Because it's not that much of a damage difference between that and Daedric. Uh, I don't know how Dragonbone sits on the scale for arrows. I'm pretty sure that's an available one. Yeah, I, I don't have the Dragon perk yet. That's why I'm working on <laughs> smithing so much. Okay, let's probably get to another batch of firewood. I figure this would be the episode I try to upgrade and get stuff going, like I should have gotten it done a while ago, and uh, just sit here and talk, and, you know, converse with you guys, because I feel a lot of the time uh, I try to cut out my own stupidity and goofiness, when I feel that it's also giving you guys the wrong message about me. Because I am a goofball, I'm an idiot, <laughs> I am sometimes way too talkative for my own good, and I feel I should really be more open about that than I usually am. Because a lot of times, I, I think Jack Septic guy talked a lot about it, uh, a lot of YouTubers kind of have a persona, or at least try to give off a persona, that is kind of different from what they are. They're several people like Jack Septic Guy and Mark Plyer and a whole bunch of different names I could name off that <laughs> don't actually do that. They're basically laying it all bare in each of their videos. But there's a lot of people who try to give off a persona to try and make themselves seem cooler or, you know, look cooler to their audience. And I, I try not to do that, but I realize I do to an extent try and filter out some of my own crazy and stupid and I try not to do that I try to lay it all bare but at the same time it's really bad sometimes <laughs> so I, I try not to bombard you with too much of it but at the same time it's you know I try to be honest with you guys and I really hope that you guys are getting that I am this crazy and this meticulous and this stupid sometimes and I, I really do hope you guys appreciate it because I try I try for you guys because you are what makes this worthwhile this little hobby of mine and uh <laughs> you know it's all fun and games but I really do hope that you're also getting that we're all people in this community, and, you know, we're just trying to do our best. <laughs> anyway, I think I ranted a little too much there. Not even a rant, it was more of a ramble. Rambly, pambly, complainy, not even complainy. What the fuck am I talking about now? <laughs> now I'm just making up words. <laughs> I should probably not do that. Alright, and I'm almost done with this, I think. Maybe. And then I can get off the emotional ramblies. Oh, jeez. There we go. Almost there. There we go. Perfect. And how many more can we make? Oh, we got... We can at least make 300. If I'm counting that right, it'd be 30 on 10. Yeah, that'd be 300. Okay. Okay. Make all this right quick. And... There we go. Might be able to get to a third towards the next one. And the rest of it I could probably do myself. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, about a third. It's about a third. Yeah, I'd say. And how much do I have left for the Dwarven Metal again? 
I didn't really check. Got 35. So another 35 uh, firewood. That'd be good to finish up that. I mean, do I want to? Should I really do that? Probably not. But, <laughs> you know, I might as well, considering I can get a whole bunch more in pretty much any dwarven uh, ruin ever. So I'm going to dump all the bolts I made right now. And that'd be a fuck ton. A metric fuck ton, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, 840. That's a metric fuck ton if i ever seen one. Alright. Let's look around. Oh, they're all in bed. I should probably go to sleep. I should probably sleep. Get a little, uh, sleep in with the wifey. With the, uh, kid right across the room. So, nothing's gonna happen. At all. <laughs> Beast blood keeps me from restful sleep. Ah, uh, you know, but that's fine. Mom hey, Lucia. To the market. Did she? There were lots of pies and cakes there. She said she'd show me how to bake one. That's nice. I'm glad that she's willing to take the time to teach you how to do that stuff. I'm really glad. All right. I got the... What do we got over here, actually? Valkreath guard. Okay. That's probably weird looking <laughs> to have that in my home. Uh, good thing the Falkreath guards don't come out here. Because that would make it look worse. Uh, I got the, what is this, the bone armor? Yeah, the bone mold. There we go. That's what it is. Bone mold. We got the ancient Falmer armor. We got the old suit. The old suit that I used to have. The ebony armor legendary. And the mask is going to go on there before you all ask. Once I get the mask to be obsolete when I upgrade everything else, I'm going to put the mask up there. Because uh, once it, the only way it'd be obsolete is if I can get a second perk onto the helmet that I put on and have the stamina bonus be equal to or more than what the mask currently gives me. But that requires a lot of enchanting. So hopefully that's done. Lydia, I gave you all that armor and you just fucking throw it away. Ah, well, that was what I expected, and that's what I got. Ah, well, that's how it goes around here. Okay, let me look at... Huh. I don't know what to look at. I am genuinely out of ideas. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I should probably throw some of this... Uh, dwarven metal in here just like five okay there we go just so I have it there and out of the way just in case I need more but uh, at this time I think I'm just gonna run with what I got Quicksilver ore I th think I was supposed to drop this in here now <laughs> that I think about it there we go perfect I got the steel ingots I might as well drop these in there too and is there something else? No, there wasn't anything else. I was going to do more firewood chopping. But, uh, I think at this point, I'm going to end the episode for now. <laughs> because it's been a long episode. <laughs> and I think I've cut quite a bit out of it as it stands. So, and I have nothing else I want to get off my mind. At least while I'm doing the wood chopping. So... Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode. Oh, that was weird cadence for that. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the episode. That's what I meant to do. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the game for playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.